What's good guys, Dope Randy back at it again, and you're probably wondering, Dope, what, what was going on with the phone at the end of your last video at Dega? Well, I have some breaking news, and it involves the Sofa Racing League, and it's that the perennial championship favorite, Scout Bonk 8, I mean Scout Bonk 9, I mean no, Scout Bonk 18, God, it's early in the morning has mutually decided but between him and the owner of this league, T-Bone, shout out to him for running such a good league but anyway the perennial championship favorite and T-Bone has mutually decided that it would be best if Scout left for the rest of the season and is not coming back I mean that <laughs> That is a huge game changer on all fronts. Because that means another spot's going to open up for the championship. And instead of me in fifth, I am now in fourth. And instead of eight drivers now competing for in the chase, there's now seven. Now, as you guys know, if you've been watching my stuff lately... Rockstar in the 19 and Mayor in the 11 all locked in because they won the last two races. Rockstar at Dega, Major at Texas. And with Scout being out of the pitchel, there is now four drivers competing for one spot or two spots. And it's going to get a little frisky, I must say. And that battle is between me, the Sits, the 22 of Shawpork, the 40 of Team Mills, and the 60 of Hunty. Four really good drivers. Any of them can do better than the other on any given day. And this race is pretty much going to decide who gets the final two spots. As we're going to go to Phoenix for the last race in the round of eight, like I just said. Now, if you guys watched my other league video where I was in the Xfinity Quarter at Phoenix, someone called it scary, what I did. I don't think it was scary. It's not scary at all. I just got lucky that the battles were going on behind me and I just pulled out to a lead. Because no one could ever get away from any of the battles other than me. And that's just luck how I did that. So I have pretty good hopes. But for me, the real battle is between me and T-Mills. Like I said, we are two points separated. Going into this race. And he has the advantage. Bailey. But, I mean, I was just, I was going to have to drive a little more aggressive than what I usually do. Just because of the nature of the situation. And I mean, I knew it was going to be a good, good old fashioned dog fight. And then, if the 22, 40, I mean not the 40, if the 20, if Sharp and the 22... Hunting in the 60, and or male coop wins in the 88. If I, that's gonna throw a huge wrench in the plans. Cause if they win, I'm gonna drop a spot regardless, and I'm gonna have to beat T Mills to get into points. Or maybe T Mills wins, and I don't have to worry about this situation. Cause. Out of those three, the 22, the 60, and the 88, I'm about 20 points ahead of the closest person. So I, and in a 13 core field, which by the way, is the, is the smallest we've had all year long. Five laps to go. Which is not good, but it is what it is. As you can see at CBD, I'm just driving way too hard. Trying to give it everything I have. But I just make a nice aggressive move. 
to get around two of the championship can two of the people that I can't allow to win this race unless I beat team mills around me so I think I got all the championship scenarios out the window now halfway through the qualifying race we can actually talk about Phoenix so Phoenix like I said I won heal in that other league the league that shall be never forgotten but will always be gone and um I felt pretty confident going in here I could get a nice top five and that would be enough to put me in to the championship four maybe a uh, maybe I can win this race for my second win of the season in case you guys are wondering I won my debut race at Pocono which is like the fourth race of the season but I'll take it so as you can see here I'm just trying to get a nice rhythm down for qualifying nothing too special heel and now I'm absolutely hauling the mail or at least trying to as we got one lap to go in qualifying for us because two people didn't pit one person didn't pit and I'm catching Watchdog at a pretty fast clip who is locked into the next round and that's just going to be a nice little under and oval and coil as you saw there I ran a 2760 which was on lap the lap before the last one with two to go or on the screen it was three to go so a 2760 I felt like that was gonna be top five ish felt like I got pretty good stuff for it of course with Scout not being in the picture this just opens up everything as we'll just have to wait and see how everybody else is how everybody else does and while we do that if you like what you see hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this from my other league and then I have a surprise coming stay tuned in the next couple in the next two or three weeks as I have another series I'm gonna do it is it NASCAR related is not you'll have to find out and see so I'm starting fourth which is good in in his first pole ever as I will eventually scroll up scrub in the O one scrub the scrub they call him gets his first ever pole and that is just unbelievable to think about and then here's the other big picture look at all the guys as Mayo is going to start second as there it is right there at a 27.55 good job Scrib good job buddy shout out to him but big picture look at look at well everybody was second third male was second T Mills was third I was fourth and then fifth sixth and seventh you cannot script this any better if you was a if you was a author in Hollywood and it's just going to come down to who's got the best stuff and who doesn't get screwed. Now, like I always say, don't crash on lap one or two. And it's fairly important that I don't do it now. Because if I crash even once, I might get taken out completely. 
at the chase. So we're going to start this race. I'm just going to have to gas it and pray that the, that hunting in the CC doesn't get a good run. Which, which I get the run. And now we're three wide for second place. As Mayo gives me a nice, just puts me up into the fence. But I'm just going to try to straight gas it. And I'm going to have to cut down, which I do. And I'll fall back to sixth, but it's okay. As I'm going to get under Hunty, when Watchdog pushes me up the track. Which, I mean, I don't know. As t t just goes all over the place for a second. So now me and Watchdog are side by side for fifth. I'm going to get the good run. Down, down the front stretch here, but I'm going to get around him for fifth. And so now I got, at this point, I got to think about the 40 team knows which will side by side for fourth place and we're about to be three wide for the field but no as of now we're still side by side now as you can see I'm gonna have to drive a little more aggressive than what I need to because of the nature of the situation that I am kind of points racing at this moment in time and I'm point racing the 40. That blue and red 40 as I just straight choke it. Coming out of the dog leg, but I use a beautiful crossover. And it's and I'm gonna lose no progress whatsoever. But I do set myself up for the 01 of scrub. And then the 40 of T Mills. As I literally lose three spots in one turn, not the way you, not the way I drew it up, but I'm gonna be under scrub right here for fifth. As I get, as I get a good run, as Cowboys now gives me a shot. All right, thanks, bud. As I wanted to block him at first, but I didn't want to be that way yet. If it was the last lap, I would have blocked him all the way, but now, no. But n as of now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to chop him off going into the dog leg. Because I cannot lose any ground to that 40. And he's starting to pull away. And that's the last thing I want. Yeah, the, the game plan for this race was to not let the 40 out of my sight at all and he's starting to join this championship championship battle I mean not championship battle this battle for the lead but he is in the championship battle too but you know what I meant as Sping and Sharp is just trying to get up there as fast as we can and we are now on his bumple Thanks to good battling. I'm just going to have to make an aggressive move as I bump Sharp out of the way. But he didn't crash. Because he's not a scrub. So it's all good. Six laps to go. Team Mills washes up. But he gets the good run coming out of one. I'm just going to follow that number 22 of Shulk as we go through the dog leg and he's going to try to get under him as I hit Majel, my bad. And then Team Mills just does a little lag, whatever that was, as Shulk Park clears him. Now I'm under Team Mills as we get five laps to go and then Majel just straight drills me. From the bat, like a dang drill sergeant or a drill major, and I'll fall back to fifth as T Mills and Major make contact, and me and Major almost make contact. And I'm gonna get the good run off the turn, and I'm gonna get fourth back as we got four laps to go. I think Sharp is officially gone for this stage unless something happens so at this point I was just trying to catch the 40 
of T Mills and pass him because I don't want the gap going up any more than than two to the negative for me. That would be that's terrible. As Major doesn't get the best run coming out of that turn, and I'm going to be underneath him, and I'm going to get around him for third. So now it's me and T Mills. We got two and a half laps. I've got to find a way to get around them. That's the goal. At all costs, get that 40 behind me, as he lets me have the inside. But he does a mini chop block, but not really. But I get a really good run as he hits the fence. We're going to be side by side for second place. As he tries to side draft, but it does not go well for him, as he loses not one but two spots to me and Major, and he falls back to fourth. And he's going to try to be one aggressive little buddy. The failed, but he gets all squirrely and has to save it. And he washes up, and here comes Mayo Coop in the 88. The failed, as I'm just watching him a mirror at this point. As T Mills doesn't get the best run, and he falls back to fourth. So now I'm pretty much gone for second. And Sharp is gone for the stage win. But then, strategy as he comes down pit road, but God knows why. And I'm going to win this stage. My first stage win of the season, if you can believe that. And... T-Mills got failed. So as of right now, me and T-Mills are tied in the points which is unbelievable to think about but it is but we all and it's going to come down to who has the best two state who has the best remaining two stages is going to decide who wins this championship i mean who wins the battle between me and team mills and I, you're probably wondering to yourself, why am I making such a big deal about this points battle? Well, Mr. Fuel, if the 22 who was winning, the 88 who was in failed and coming, or the 60 who was fast, win, whoever wins the point battle between me and the 40 will get in as the fourth and final spot. So I'm just trying to use all my fallbacks as Watchdog pins me down and then I spin and that is not what we wanted at all as I get hit like a pinball and it seems like all hope has been lost but there's the 40 right there who is also involved in this. So, me and the 40 are 10th and 11th. Well, 9th and 10th now. It's Watchdog. I don't know what happens to him. But yeah, me and T-Mills are 9th and 10th. Stage 2. For, and at, as of now, I've got to catch that 40. And get around them. Because right now, we are tied. But if the stage ended the way it is, he would get a one point advantage. But as you can see, he's got a crap ton of traffic he's going to have to deal with. And by the way, just to keep, just to throw this out there, I felt like me and the 40 were two of the fastest cars on the track. And you'll see what we're talking about in a minute as T Mills has to negotiate the traffic. We got nine laps to go in this stage. And at this point, I'm just trying to drive this thing as hard as I can. Until the towers blow on this thing. As t washes up the track. And it's all good. I'm closing in on... He's in that three-call battle for seventh. As I'm closing in on that battle pretty quickly. As JW hits the inside wall, T Mills gets a terrible run off turn one. 
and I'm gonna be right Dale so at this point I am Dale as I touch JW in the left reel and I almost spin out but I don't which was huge so all that progress I lost I mean all that progress I gained on that last lap I lost it but again Team Mills gets a terrible well not, uh, we're not terrible he doesn't get the best run coming off turn 1 down the dog leg and I'm going to be right there again going down into 3 coming out of 4 to the start finish line as we're going to have 6 slaps to go my goal is to get around that blue 40 at all cost as I'm just going to have to use up the 52 the 12 gets into the I bump into the back of the 12 that is not intentional all right. but I've just got to go as I'm just trying to drive it like my mama stole it low, low. and I'm just going to have to get a good run and I do as Hollingsworth and JW we're just going to leave them in the dust so now it's just me and team else again and so we have got we got five laps to go I'm not going to try to push the issue as we're coming to four laps to go okay, that's the halfway mark. not trying to push the issue as he washes up the track I'm going to try to see if I can get to him and I'm going to use his draft to try to suck up to his bumper which I'm kind of feel kind of not I feel like I'm faster than him at this time. As we got three laps to go in the stage. Again, Team Mills in seventh. I'm in eighth. As I'm going to get a good run off turn one. And we're going to try to be side by side going down into turn three. Which we will. As I did not mean to do that, I got a little loose. We both break at the same time. And I'm up and around and I'm off. So I'm up to 7th. Just keep the 40 behind you at all cost. That's now the goal. Now if you say that was intentional, you're pretty much an idiot. I do not try to wreck people on purpose. But whenever I'm points racing and the guy I'm points racing is right in front of me, you do, like I say in my triddle bio, you do what you gotta do to get yours, and that's exactly what I thought as a male crashes, and we're up to six now. As we come to the final lap in the stage, sponsored by Power Raid, hashtag cheap plug. And now this is a huge point in this in this points battle. You see four of the top five pit, including team else behind me. I don't pit. I finish second, but look where team mills look where team mills ends up. He also pitted too. He ends up in ninth place. That is huge. As now, it's plus seven to the good. For me, I got a seven point gap. As long as I don't do, as long as I don't crash, we should be fine. And I'm just thinking, Lord, don't. I'm just praying to the NASCAR guards, don't crash me in this stage at the most important time of the season up to this point. For me in this number six, Lido's Ford GT. Please don't do it. I'm restarting 10th. I see TMOs is in 5th. Just hold it together and we will be fine. But as you'll see... That was a killer. And as at this point, I'm just trying to go 
as I don't know what happened between the, the scrub and male. I honestly don't know. But I get caught up in it. I'm back to a lump. And you want to know why? The plus seven was so dang huge. He had. I have to finish within seven spots of him in the last 17 laps. Or he's going to go to Homestead and I'm going to be on the outside looking in. So at this point, my goal was just to drive like I've never driven, like I've never driven it in my life. And just to go balls to the wall as fast as you can. And just hope and pray that you catch enough guys. It, or that team Mills does anything stupid. And it's just... This was, this is just catastrophic. Catastrophic to my chances. Of getting into the next round. But then... 15 laps to go. I'm trying to catch JW and Grease as fast as I possibly can. T, you see that slow call? That's T Bone 4230. Shout out to him, my team owner. He just he was telling me that T Mills was in failed was in fourth no fifth place. He was in fifth place. So right now, and he was battle and he was going towards the front. So if he was in fifth. I would be ahead by one point. And eventually he'd get as high as Theo doing this run. Which was scary because if I finished 11th, he was going, he was going to have a tie. And no one saw a tie coming and we didn't know what to do if a tie happened. But as you see at the top, T Mills was failed, got into a crash. And I'm just so happy. And I just get, as you saw on the screen, I lost my focus. Because I was literally yelling into the mic. Into my team chat mic. As when I saw team, when I heard that team mills crashed. No offense, team mills. Big, a uh, big, big, big. And I'm now just, I feel like I've got this wrapped up. As long as something doesn't happen. Team Mills is getting all scrolly up there. And it's all Gucci and 100. I feel like I've got a pretty fast piece. I just ran the fastest lap of the race at a 46. You know, as long as I don't screw up, I think I've got this in the bag. So we got 11 laps to go. I'm in 12th. Team Mills is in 9th. I'm catching those three pretty quick as Mayo who probably had one either the first or second fastest call on the track who also got caught up in that crash as I am just winging in at this point I don't give a damn because I even though I'm like right now it's plus four or oh, six five yeah it's plus four to the good for me. So anything, I got to get closer to Mr. T Mills in that 40. So nine laps to go. I'm catching these three. And so I'm just going to have to. I'm just going to have as Mayo and JW make contact. And I'm just going to get under Mr. Mayo. As I've got something to fight for. I'm going to get around him. And then JW. I don't know what that was. Not the best run. And I'm just going to get around him. And nab him up to 10th. We are now up to 10th. So now the gap is 6 points. And with no one. In direct sight. It's at T-Mills. 
and we're coming to seven laps to go. I think we, I think we're gonna do it. But I mean, it's just really special. I don't know how it worked out, but the NASCAR Heat Two guards was on my side today as Team Ellis washes up the track. But now you never know. If there's a seven car pileup and I get caught up in it, Team Ellis is going to take that spot in the homestead. So you can't just give up if the Team Ellis. Even though I got the faster call of him at this point in time. And supposedly he was running failed when he crashed. And if you remember, I was in 11th. Five to go. Five to go. So if he would have just held it together, I would have been moving on. No, he would have been moving on into the next round. But as you can see, I'm just going to do the up move and single you know the hook line and single as I'm up to ninth and we get around team mills and that probably was the final move as Rockstar crashes he hits me and I was hoping and praying the game wouldn't send me into the inside wall which thankfully it doesn't And Team Ellis also gets through it. So we're up to 8th and 9th. <laughs> As we got 3 laps to go. And I'm just trying to protect at this point in the game. We're catching Hauling Swift in Greece, but I don't know if it's going to be enough time to make a move on him. Is that a... I don't know. But, um... We we got two laps to go. At this point, I'm just trying to keep it all in. Literally trying to keep it all in. And I'm just going to keep letting my gold down. This core is starting to come to become really, 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 really one loose. It's got. got one lap to go. Sponsored Our by Credit One Bank. Hashtag cheap plug. Me and him are side by side. Even though it's... Unless I do something drastic. He's got, I've got the champ. I've got the final spot locked up. But we can always pretend, right? Team Mills gets loose and the me puts me up into the fence. I keep the gas in it. And I finish eighth. He finishes ninth. And I will be in the championship four. And the reason I keep pouncing on it, look who won the race. If you noticed, Short Pork won the race. So in case you're wondering, Short got in based on his he wins and he's gonna be in Homestead. For Team Spanstel and Team Mills will not be in the final four. Heartbreaking as I finished plus eight points as I had the fastest lap in the race at a 27.46. Just absolutely hauling the mail. But I did rather need. I've never been so happy with an 8th place finish. But as we back out, we're going to talk about this championship. We're going to Homestead Miami Speedway. Like always. Um, it's going to come down to me. Major Spy in the, in the 11. Walt Stoll in the 19. Me in the sits and Shaw Park in the 22. Now, I didn't think my expectation, my expectations for this season, has been thoroughly met and surpassed. 
Yes, I mean, I joined this league in the fourth race of the season at Pocono. Didn't know what the hell I was getting myself into. Won and has been one of the best people, or trying to be one of the best, dry, clean and fastest drivers, we race in and race out. As I just started doing, this is, I mean, this is just special. This is my first real summer of doing leads like this. And it's just crazy to think that how two months ago I didn't even know about this. And now all of a sudden I'm going to be racing for a championship on Monday. Shout out to everyone who put me up to this point. You know who you all. Um, just a crazy how a guy from Tennessee can do so much. That's one of the fastest rising guys in the community. I'm not trying to be, not trying to brag, but I think that's what it is. As, I mean, I'm going to close it out here. I'm so excited for Homestead to see what I can do. I might be the underdog, but I'm going I'm to give it everything I have. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to see it. And thank you all.